Ciao people, welcome back on the Disciple channel, it's Nexters here, and today we're gonna break down together my project Void M. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, this project isn't the same as the one I released, because this version was made in uh, 2020, and that was when I originally started making the track. So a few plugins went missing, a few files corrupted, but like most of the project sounds the same, so it's not a big deal. Um, let's start with the intro. This is how it sounds. Okay, fantastic so far. So the intro is not really complicated at all. Uh, in my intros, I tend more often to take uh, to give more importance to melodies instead of complexity. So this is the main melody just being played. It's a free contact guitar here. This is the guitar and. Nothing really complicated. Um, I have a few effects going down. Here are some ambiences and effects. <clears throat> and one bass which is playing... Which is following the melody. This one. This is also a free contact library. There it is. This is a free contact library that you can download. For the next 8 bars I'm only adding a death piano. Another contact library which is making also which is layering the melody pretty much. <clears throat> While the effects are pretty much the same. On the next 16 bars, I ha I have la added a lot of layers and counter melodies to the main melodies. Oh my god. These are... This is an ambience and this is a pad. I think it's a... Yeah, it's a stock preset from Serum is being played and it, it they are both run into this auto pan on this group i have another death piano here which is playing and a pluck it's another counter melody which is playing on top of everything this is a stock i think it's a stock ableton Thing. Not sure about it. Organ to soft. After? Yeah. yeah, I think it was for sure a. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is it, but it's, if it's, it's a stock Ableton. Yeah, that's it. This is the original patch, and I added some post processing here, some real OTT. Uh, bit reduction and uh, EQing, it, it sounds like this. <clears throat> nothing really crazy, nothing really complicated, just a few things playing. And here we have some white noises, some risers going on. Also here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some risers action. And 
Another thing that I added here in this section This intro This intro reads, I'm sorry Pretty basic, if you were to ask me But hey, it works, so Who cares? <laughs> um. So for the first 32 bars, I'm giving a lot of importance to a melody To, you know, how I was feeling so I wrote this melody and this part and that is until the last four bars <laughs> so you can hear the risers and we're going into a part with this part break down and build up technically um, which doesn't have that much melody as the intro like it's pretty much without the melody it's only a bunch of effects with an impact an ambience here which is very subtle i hope you guys can hear that impact and yes this is going to be a controversial, a controversial one. I, whatever you get what I mean. Um, I uh, this is the sub. Also going to be the sub of the drop. <clears throat> it has an utility, saturation, EQ, and then reverb. Yes, reverb, and not only reverb but also grain art lay. Hmm. I just liked it as it sound. Uh, as it sounds like here, like it's not anything particular, particularly crazy. Like it, it just sounded good to me when I was writing the song, so I decided to keep it. One thing I did though is uh, I cut all the low frequencies in the sides. Uh, you can easily go into the sides with the EQ by doing this. It's super easy. Yellow one is the size, and the blue one is the mid frequency. So I just decided to, you know, do this, and yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, this is just you know sub with the reverb, sub with the reverb, and then and then I deleted pretty much the reverb. I, I turned down the drive, so there's no reverb input. <clears throat> Pardon me. Then, for the drop, for the drop, the drop is quite easy as well, I just, I like the, I decided to process a little bit and get a little bit creative with, with, the, with the drop synths, but I'll go over them later. Let's start with uh, what's behind everything, with the sub bass, which is this one. <clears throat> so as you can hear, there's no reverb. But I still have active the granular delay, which is actually doing something. Here's with the grain delay. And here's without. There's a lot of difference, so I decided to keep it because I liked the way it sounded back then. And I think it sounds great. I think it's really cool. I've been using the, this technique a lot lately, and I think it sounds great. I'm not sure if it if it's correct or something, but I don't know. It sounds good to me, so whatever. <laughs> so um, we have lots of percussion going on, like lots of percussion, a few percussion going on behind the drop. <coughs> Most of them being follies here. Holy loop, which is being cut for follies, and here we have two sounds for the fill glitches and more percussion elements like some vocal stuff, some open hi hat ish sounds. 
that sounded good to me. Like they, I, th I think they make the drop sound fuller in a good way. Like it still sounds empty. You get what I mean? It still sounds empty, but if if I don't add them, it sounds empty in a bad way. With them, it sounds it sounds way better. They add a little bit of texture in, for the track. For the drums, I didn't do a lot. I processed. The, it's a cymatics kick. I did a, a notch here. I compressed it a little bit, saturated it, some more utility for the gain. Uh, transient shaping and a little bit of EQ, which is probably similar for the snare. Yeah, you can see it's a similar processing. Uh, I only have an, an hi hat, I think, for the symbols. Yeah, reverb. The reverb is being automated. No, it's just a singular dot, so it's not being automated. <laughs> And now let's go over the drop synths, which is kind of cool to me. Like, lately, like, I haven't been using Serum to make my sounds. Like, these two sounds are samples. Like, they are samples. Let me just show you. This is the rock, this is the sound now. Okay. Let me just show it to you without the post-processing. Let me grip them, quick. This is without. It's silly, isn't it? <laughs> like... <laughs> Whatever, like it, it's just silly to me. So these two sounds taken alone. Let me remove the audio effect. This one is a sign whistle, I think. Yeah, sign whistle. I think it's a pretty simple sine wave, and this one is a lock from a producer named uh, I don't know his name, but like. I'm pretty sure his name is Ryan Jones, spelled backward, but I'm not sure. But this is a pluck. And they're play playing together. Playing a little bit of a melody here. It's G sharp, G sharp, A sharp. <clears throat> what really makes the difference here is the post processing, which I'm going to show you. So, most of the work, the frequency shifter is doing most of the work, as you will hear in a second. So, what a frequency shifter basically does is it shifts the frequencies on the left or on the right. Like, I'm shifting the frequencies negatively. By 2.28 kilohertz on the left, so it it is going to sound a little bit more dark. If you get what I mean. Then I added <clears throat> a serum effects, which has a hyper dimension on it, a compressor, wait, a compressor, and a comb filter, which is not even at maximum. It's like at 32%. Then I added a Haas effect. I think this is a stock Ableton rack, but I'm, I'm not sure, but it's easy to do. And see, there's the stereo image, which is play and, and an EQ, and a panel which is completely mono. This makes things uh, more stereo. A vocoder, which is taking the signal from the original plug. This. Just so we can kind of keep track of the original melody. It's not doing a lot, but 
it's a little detail that OTT EQ to cut the low ends saturation Re reverb and delay just for the fills and a little bit of filtering for the buildups so this is how it sounds all together So you see this reverb is used for the as well as the granular delay it just adds a little bit of texture in it i i liked it i like it this part was made with still with the granular delay and automating this this parameter and on this section here i only added this layer Which has a reverb, a resonator here, EQ, OTT, Autopan, so we get the LFO shape thing. Reverb, OTT again, reverb and granular delay for the fills. <coughs> okay, so going on to the next part, which is a little bit of... Uh, acoustic thing I did okay, this is a complete mess I'm sorry if I confuse you here but like I have to find everything this is a kick basically I'm 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 having a lot of uh, follies and effects to make it sound fuller and uh, give it a little bit more of texture so it sounds a little bit more realistic oh yeah this is not playing because I still don't have massive on this PC I have to download it again Basically, I was going with uh, what the heck my mind was like. I, I liked the way it sounds. I had this group in my mind, so I decided to follow it. I'm not sure if it fits the sound really well, the song really well, but to me, it was just great. I love to do these type of things in my songs, and I just said, "Why not? Let's go for it." So it came out this way. I only have this sub, which is a little bit more lighter than the other one. It only has a meter here. It's not really doing anything a lot. I'm giving it a little bit more volume. So then we go into the second breakdown and build up. It's even emptier than the first one. And it was intended to be this way. <coughs> Okay, so um, this build-up is nothing really crazy, like it's completely empty until the first, the last part, which has this, uh, these synths going in. Take them real quick. And They're very subtle until the very final part of this breakdown. And I think I can show you a very cool technique that I used for this drop. So this is the resampled version. This is this this is the resampled version. 
The original version is uh, this one here in this group. I made a rack for this one and uh, this is the channel. And I, I have used operator for this. And I'm using a shaper. I cannot find for some... There it is. Hydro shape, similar to a serum LFO curve. I applied it to the level of the... Check the level of the gain. Yeah, the gain of this, of the utility. And a bunch of other stuff. Like, I applied it, it to the level of the operator. The of something that I'm not sure. Okay, the frequency of this, probably something else around here, maybe in the multipass. Nope. Yeah, on the multipass. Okay. So I applied a bunch of uh, automations here, and uh, what it's doing, like the, the most work, these two vocoder are doing most work. <laughs> It is the sound without uh, anything on it. By putting these two vocoder, I'm taking the input from the channel 93, which is uh, which is this one, which is muted. So normally you won't, you wouldn't be able to hear it. But this track is a another track which is chopped up and a little bit processed. Nothing too special. Just to bring out those uh, frequencies, uh, to saturate it a bit, and to bring out melodies. So the vocoder can pick it up and apply it to my to my operator sound. <clears throat> As you can hear, this second vocoder is taking the input from the from this track here, which is another melody track, and this part is not included in the original. So go stream it when it's out, so you will hear the full version. And uh, this track is also playing another melody. Don't ask me what is that because I I don't know. But you can hear it, it gives a, a little bit more texture to the originals. Here's the difference, like, with it... Without it... So that's probably, like, the most interesting thing about this song. Like, I, I really love this type of, uh, of processing, like, because it's really easy and you can make... You can get a lot of it. And even if like you're stuck with a song or you just have writer's block or something you can just pick another song you really like and uh, take it as an input for a vocoder and you can you can come up with some insanely good melodies and you can start off a track with that sorry i was playing this Again, this part is not the same as the original. Uh, this is pretty much it. Like, it's not really a difficult track, it's quite simple to be honest. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The tracks, the ending, the outro. Has a little cute piano, cute piano here. And well, that's pretty much it for, for this track for the breakdown. I hope you learned something new. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys, your 2022 is starting off great. And make sure to pre-save the EP, go stream it, go all of the good go all of the good things. And thanks Disciple for having me and uh
go check my social medias if you're if you have any questions you can tell me you can hit me up directly that's no not no problem and yeah i'll see you guys next time peace